Chris, this town is in the throes of a passionate debate over that piping, what it represents to the Orthodox Jewish community, and what it could mean for the future of this town. And now, this police department is investigating four separate cases of vandalism. When these slender plastic pipes turned up on power poles in Mawa and surrounding towns this summer, they were residents' first clue that this is America's newest a roof. If you're a young Orthodox Jewish family, you are going to move to a community that has an A-roof. Rabbi Adam Mintz, an expert on A-roofs, explained their powerful lure. Made of poles and string, they encircle cities and towns to turn them into symbolic Jewish backyards, granting Orthodox Jewish residents permission to move freely, carry things, and push baby carriages on the Sabbath, as seen here in Muncie, Rockland County. In Mawa, even the early stages of a new A roof has some people in fear their town could quickly and drastically change. We wish the fear was not there, but you can't deny the fact that it's it's a component of this conversation. It's a very sensitive issue. Mawa Mayor Bill Laforette says he's getting swamped with complaints and concerns that if the A roof attracts a large enough wave of Orthodox Jewish families who rely on Jewish schools for their kids, it could cause public school enrollment and funding to decline. Mawa police are investigating instances where the new a roof piping is getting ripped down and scattered are we concerned of course we're concerned based on what well there's this inherent fear of what the, the what our the way of quality of life here in Mawa, new jersey and other communities how it could potentially change community should be open to uh, everybody but at the same time if a large group is looking to take it over that's an unfair situation at a Mawa public meeting, scheduled for 7.30 Thursday night, the mayor is expected to get an earful from concerned residents who wonder how the town ever allowed an A-roof. This video, taken by a neighbor, shows private contractors constructing the A-roof with Rockland Electric Company permission. Mayor LaFourette says town approval was not required because electric companies on their own can allow A-roofs after losing in court when other towns tried and failed to block them. Mawa will attempt to get the plastic piping removed from the poles by declaring them signs that violate the town sign ordinance. But some experts say that will probably face an uphill legal challenge. All the damage to the piping has since been repaired, and this police department is investigating those four cases as bias crimes. Live in Mawa, New Jersey, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.